Hey, thanks for tuning in. I have a gear and kit update video coming soon after this video, so you can check it out. Three main parts to this video are a quick chat about Panzer IIs, a quick box opening of the Flam Panzer II, and the first part of the Flam Panzer II build. There are chapter markers here if you want to skip around. I'm going to talk for a couple minutes on Panzer IIs in general. The Panzer II is my favorite of the period, followed by the Panther. I've built the Ausfahrung C, have an F and 50mm version on the bench, and also have this Flam Panzer II, which is based on the D chassis. Panzer II was developed in the mid-30s and entered production in 36. The first pre-production variants were the lower case ABC with running gear similar to the Panzer I. The production A, B, and C variants were very similar, and over a thousand were made. These evolved into the F, where the superstructure became one piece, and a dummy visor and command cupola was added, and some differences to the muffler layout. About 500 of these were made. The D and E version changed the running gear to four large wheels, and modified the superstructure, hull, and engine. Again, this D version is the chassis that the Flampanzer II is based on. Ausfahrung L is the well-known Lux, which is larger, with unique overlapping road wheels, slack track, etc. About 120 were made. One of the last variants, J, also with the overlapping wheel design, had updates to the armor, engine, and armament, but only a couple dozen were made. They used the Panzer II chassis to make some self-propelled guns. About 650 Martyr IIs were made with a 75mm Pac-40 or captured 76mm. They made about 675 of the Vespa, a 105mm howitzer. They added a road wheel and made the 150mm SIG-33 in limited number. They converted some to carry the 50mm Pac-38 or to be bridge layers, etc. This is my first Bronco kit. After the first build session, I'm lumping these in with Dragon, a massive amount of small detail parts that could easily have been molded on. Now for the box review. This was one of the first box openings I recorded, so it's a bit sparse. Hamilcar Barkas does an amazing in-depth box review if you're really interested in this specific kit. There are 20 sprues, a couple of PE sheets, and the decals. Forty-seven steps over seventeen pages. You'll see in the build parts that they have you glue on incredibly small pieces that need cleanup, like lug nuts, screws, wing nuts, hatch hinges, etc. Alright, let's jump into the build. The quality of the plastic is good, 
and the detail and texturing are admirable. There was very little flash. There seemed to be an excessive amount of attachment points. Things indexed nicely. There was only a couple of issues with that. I'll try not to zoom in so much when I don't need to. I think it exaggerates movement. The sides index here at this tab and along the seam. These are the bumper stops for the suspension arm. After cleaning up the attachment point, they have you glue on the bumper pad. These were side heavy and they just did not want to lay flat. Eventually, I got them along this side. I thought this might help, but it didn't. I had to just keep moving the hole and piece and tweezers around until it magically set in. Instead of the familiar rubber caps, they give you these. The small one is for the sprocket. This is basically the rubber tire part. A lapse of reason. I should have left those off. Now I have to mask or paintbrush them. Oh well.
At 12 and 6 o'clock, there's the slightest ridge for indexing. Three tiny ridges. They're not equidistant as there are 11 spikes, so you have to get the orientation right on the sprocket. PE sheet is relatively thick. It took a little effort to get that bent around a dowel. For that piece in particular, I had to force those outer wings in while the glue set. I decided to stop here at the end of the lower hole build for the video. Seven steps. So far so good I think. Just have to stay patient with the smaller parts. As mentioned, I have another video coming out soon after this. They started out together as one, but grew into their own.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone's well and happy modeling.